Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the new topic that is the cubes and cube roots. So this topic you will also see in one of my videos in the other mm -hmm. Sagarwal. So everything is the same here only when the books changes when is the questions will be in some slightly different. Rest all the method is the same. So now let us see the part one of it. So wherever necessary I will give you the detailed explanation. So now look at here. This is innings 4.1. So this is the they have asked that find the cubes of these numbers. So these all numbers are written over here. So now here that is 7. 7 we have to find the cubes of it. Means 7 cube means this is going to be multiplied 7 into 7 into 7 3 times. So when you multiply 7 7 are 49. 49 this 7 are that is going to be 343. So 11 cube that will be again the same 11 into 11 into 11 that is 1331. Minus 14 cube means now see here this is a odd number. Whenever the exponent is odd means you have to write the negative sum. If it was minus 14 this to 5 also. So it could have been negative and then whatever the answer you have to multiply 14 here 5 times. So here we have to multiply 14 3 times. So you get 2744. Same over here. So because now this is cube, so minus and then 18, you have to multiply 3 times. So it will be 5 by 3. Now look at this problem. We have also seen this in the exponents, the rule. We have to take the cube of this one. So we know the rule that is a by b raised to m. That is a raised to m and b raised to m. So what are we going to do? We are going to multiply this into this and this into this. So 4, we are going to multiply 4 for the 16 and 16 for the 64. And here 5 cube means 5 is a 25 and 25, 5 is a that is 125. Now see here, this is the mixed fraction. So first we have to make it to improper. So you know this is 5 to the 10 plus 2, that is going to be 12, divided by this 5. So 12 by 5 cube. So again the same, 12 you have to multiply 3 times, you get 1728, 5 cube, 5 multiplied by 3 times, that is going to be 125. Now look at here, this is 0. 0.6 cube. So now you don't have to look at the decimal first, only concentrate on the number here. So this is 6 cube, you know 6 cube means 6 into 6 into 6, that is going to be 6 6 at 36 and 36 6 at that is 216. But now since it is cube means you will go backwards three numbers. So when you go backwards these three numbers and then you will put a point. So that is 0 0.216. Same here, first you will look at this number, not the decimal there. 5 cube is going to be 5 into 5 into 5, that is 125. So 125 means, this is cube means now, if it was square, you could have gone two numbers back. 1, 2, 3, and then you will put a decimal over here. Now this is again, what you are going to do, first you will not look at the decimal, you will multiply 35 into 35 into 35. So you get here, 4, 2, 8, 7, 5. So now it is since it is cube means you will go backwards three numbers and then put a decimal. So that is 42.875. Now here, concentrate here, find the ones digit in the cube of. So when you take a cube of this one, so we don't have to take the cube exactly now 43 into 43 into 43. Okay. Now you can see the, because the ones digit, now you will just look at this threes. So three into three into three means what is that? 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. So now concentrate here. This is 27. So they have asked what is the ones digit. So this is the, when you get 27 here. So you don't have to multiply this because this will be a very big number. We are just, they are asked for the ones digit. So just concentrate on the ones part. So here will be 7. So this is 7. Again here, we don't have to multiply 57, but only concentrate on the one's digit. So 7 into 7 into 7. That is going to be 7. Seven are 49. 49. This will be 7. That will be 343. So the one's place is 3. So this is 3. Again here for 98 means this is 8. 8 into 8 into 8. 8 is a 64. 64 eights are. So 64 eights are. That is going to be 512. So the one's digit is 2. So this is 2. So here then this is very easy one one into one into one that is going to be one again here six 
6 into 6 into 6 that is going to be 36 36 is a that is going to be 216 just 216 means one's digit is 6 again here 4 4 into 4 into 4 16 16 for the 64 so this is 4 uh, here for 2 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 hope this is clear now here 5 5 means here it is going to be 5 into 5 into 5 that is going to be 125 so 125 means the ones digit is 5 0 means 0 into 0 into 0 that is going to be 0 now look at this 9 9 into 9 into 9 9 9 is 81 81 9 is so here again it is going to be 9 7 to 9 means this is going to be 9 so now you have the next one the length of a side of a cuboidal box is 12 centimeter and find the volume of the box so we'll write here the length of side of a cuboidal box is 12 so volume of a when if the volume of a cuboidal box means the volume of cube that is going to be side cube this formula is important so now side is given means that is 12 cube so this will be when you take 12 into 12 into 12 that is 1728 centimeter cube now check if the following numbers are perfect cubes so now how to do this one to check it whether they are cubes perfect cubes means you will take 588 you will do the prime factorization you know the prime factorization method you will so here it is going to be this will be by 2 2 2 za 2 9 za 2 4 za 2 1 za 2 4 za 2 7 za so now this goes with 7 7 7 2 za 7 1 za then here again 7 uh, sorry this goes with 3 we'll do it here itself so that will be more better 588 so this will be 2 2 za 2 9 za 2 4 za 2 1 za 2 4 za 2 7 za then this goes with 3 3 4 za 3 9 za then this will go with 7 7 za and 7 one za so now what you can see here whenever this are because we want to see whether they are the perfect cubes this is just one pair that is not in cube cube means it should be two into two into two there should be three numbers here this is one these are only two so this is definitely not a square again you will just check for this one one six two zero we'll just do it up here so that is going to be more better so here will be two eights are here we'll put here and this is going to be 10 so now again here two fours are and this is going to be five so here it will go with three three ones are three threes are nine and three fives are 15 again this will go with three three fours are 12 and three fives are 15 again with uh, three three ones are and three fives are again this will go with three three fives are and this will be five ones are so now what you can see here again here this is not a cube because here there are just two numbers here there are four numbers so this also is not a cube now just uh, we'll uh, see which i have put a tick rest you can check it yourself because you know the prime factorization method so now we will just see here three three seven five So this is not going to go with 2 because this the unit place is 5. So now let us see with 3. 3 1s are 3 1s are 3 2s are 6 and 3 5s are 15. Again this will go with 3. 3 3s are 9 and here will be uh, remaining is 2 means 3 7s are 21 3 5s are 15. Again with 3. 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 and this will be 3 5s are 15. This will not go with 3 but with 5. 5 2 is 10, 5 5 is 25, 5 5 is and 5 1 are. So now what you can see here, there are 3 3 numbers, means 3 numbers are in pairs. So now that means it is a, this both are the, this also is in pair, this 3 numbers and this also 3 numbers. So this is a perfect cube. Now let us see for this number. So whatever I put a white tick, that all are the perfect cubes. 
so now uh, look at here 21952 21952 so here will be two ones are and here again two nines are 18 two sevens are 14 So let me see 21952 two, two ones are two so this is 19 two nines are 18 this will be two sevens are 14 and this will be 12 two six are 12 so it should be one nine but since we have taken the one nine seven six two are So since we have taken here two numbers, so it should be one zero nine seven six. So here again here two fives are so here two fours are two eights are two eights are again here two twos are two sevens are two fours are and two Fours are two ones are two threes are two sevens are and two twos are then again here two six two eight two six two three so now this number will go with seven seven fours are twenty eight Seven nines are sixty-three. Then again, seven sevens are forty-nine, and this will be seven ones are. So now, what you can see here, these are in pairs, three three numbers in one pair. So this is a perfect cube. Same, you can check for this number and for this number. These are not a perfect scale. You can also for your practice, you can just and this also is a perfect cube. You can also check with these numbers where. But these are not the, I have already checked for this one. They are not the perfect square. You can use the perfect factorization method and check these numbers as well, which are without a tick. So by this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.